Hello, uh, I'm Tommy Yoon, Creative Director of uh, Harmony Gold USA. Uh, thanks for craning all your necks uh, back here, I really appreciate it. And we're going to try to barrel through this so we can get to the most important announcement at the very end that a lot of people probably showed up here for today. Uh, we've got a lot of new releases at this show, uh, and if some of you haven't visited the booth yet, you'll notice that uh, to a lot of people's surprise, uh, we've got the Macross Do You Remember Love, or also known as Macross the Movie, posables. Uh, George Sun of Toynami has announced that he's limiting these to 2,000 each. And the folks who are here at the convention get first dibs of the Hikaru Ichijo, which is the a unique red skull leader that was only seen in Macross the Movie, which has been limited to only 1,000 units. And so you guys here at Anime Expo have first dibs on this uh, convention exclusive. And of course, uh, a really, really constrained item is the Masterpiece Collection bookends. Our last set of bookends were limited to 500 units. They blew out of stock. Uh, this time, George Sun, he thought maybe people wouldn't be as interested in the second run, so he only made 200. And he was only able to get 30 flown in from Hong Kong in time for the show. And uh, unfortunately, I believe all of them were, were spoken for. So. Uh, folks who really want this that badly, you can come back at San Diego Comic Con. Actually, uh, I think he's rationing them out so that he's only giving away 10 a day. Oh, okay. So you have to show up there in the morning. So, you know, at 10 in the morning when uh, the show floor opens. So. All right. Anyway, um, this year we're really, really focusing on Robotech the new generation. Uh, when we relaunched the Robotech license in 2000 through 2000, 2001 through 2002, we started, of course, at the Robot origin of Robotech, which was the Macra saga. And now we've been moving through everything, and this year is when we really focus in comics and games and merchandising on the new generation, which had often been overlooked before. And of course, we started small with the very small figurines, and we moved on to larger superposables. But of course, what everybody really wants is the big flagship item, which is the Masterpiece Collection. And this is, uh, currently they have real actual production units that have been flown in from China uh, on display. And these, we play with them, and you can play with them at the front. Tom has a sample unit where you can actually try it out in your hands. <laughs> And it feels really, really good. It's got a really heavy weight to it. It's got a high metal content. And the one good thing about it is it snaps together tightly. It's actually a decent, playable uh, showcase item that you can show off to your friends. And of course, it's got all the missile pods and every little hatch that the previous toys have never had before. Uh, if there's enough demand, George really wants to do a beta, but of course, uh, the market has to support it, so go out there, buy your unit, guarantee the existence of a beta. If you want, if you want a beta, buy the alpha. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, we're going to run through uh, the line of the four characters, which is uh, Scott, Blue Brook, Blue Lancer, and of course, Sam Ram, which was the only character seen in uh, uh, any type of uh, shadow technology uh, makeup. And of course, uh, if you would like to visit Poinami, they're at booth 220 next to ADV. <laughs> and of course, uh, ADV is at booth 200, which is hard to miss. <laughs> and also, rounding out our new releases are Robotech Comics. Uh, the Invasion TPD will collect the Invasion storyline uh, to tie in with the release of the game this fall. And the next storyline plans to bridge the new, end of new generation with our new storyline, which we, of course, will get to. And of course, what you've seen demonstrated earlier is Robotech Invasion from October 2004. You can visit the website right now. Right now, it's a uh, teaser website, but we're going to have more information coming soon. Uh, and this is being released by Gathering, which is one of uh, Take Two's uh, labels, and this is expected to hit stores in Xbox and PlayStation 2, and it'll be available for online gameplay for up to eight players. One cool thing about this game is it actually has a branching gameplay storyline. And one, 
That means that everybody who plays this game based on the gameplay choices that they make will have a different experience throughout the game. But the problem we're having is we'll tell, tell the press, hey, you know, we've got this really cool feature and this is what it is, but just don't sell the beans. But of course, the press, you know, knowing the press the way they are. So uh, I'd like to forewarn everybody with spoiler warnings when you read all those PlayStation and Xbox magazines. Uh, read it carefully because uh, you might be finding out that, you know, like, uh, you know, who your father is or, you know, you know, you know Darth Vader is your father, etc. So just giving you a spoiler warning for those of you who really want to enjoy the awesome twists and turns that uh, Vicious Cycle had put together in this game. And of course, uh, Tom can uh, take it from this point. Uh, one thing we did, which we also did with uh, Robotech Battlecry earlier, was we brought back all the original Robotech voice talent uh, to recap their roles in this game. Uh, this right here was from the first day of uh, the recording session. And uh, the gentleman on the left is Greg Snegoff, who is uh, one of the, the most important people on the original Robotech production, not only doing the voice of Chiron, General Ed, um, no, Colonel Fredericks, and uh, Scott Bernard, but he was also one of the main dialogue directors and one of the main staff writers. And they flew, and uh, Vicious Cycle was uh, good enough to fly him all the way out from his home in Italy just for this. And uh, next to him is Steve Kramer, who was uh, the script editor of Robotech and uh, one of the main staff writers and directors. And uh, he also did the voice of uh, Angelo Dante. And he uh, directed the voice session. Uh, the woman uh, to, his, uh, to his left is, is unfortunately, I don't remember her name, but she is new and she was brought in because she was very good at doing Hispanic accents uh, for a number of our characters. Uh, the woman in the middle, the shortest one, is Barbara Goodson, who did the voice of uh, Sira in, uh, in Robotech the New Generation, also Marie Crystal in Robotech Masters, and one of the most talented uh, voice actresses around, uh, mainly does a lot of children uh, these days. Uh, but she was also very famous for doing uh, the voice of Rita Repulsa on uh, Mighty Morphin Power, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for years. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, the next is Melanie McQueen, who did the voice of Marlene, and of course Lisa Hayes. And she was brought back. She's a veteran from she's a veteran from uh, uh, Robotech Battle Cry. And uh, the woman on the far right is Alexander Kenworthy, who is actually Greg Snegoff's mother, uh, and she did the voice of the Regis in the New Generation. And during uh, the Road to the Macross saga, she did the voice of Azonia, so uh, it was always interesting to treat her and her son after they were playing lovers on... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which was a curious thing that, 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 that occurred, and, and Alexander actually said to me that, that sometimes they get cast that way, and that wasn't the only time that that happened, so... But, you know, one thing about all these... <laughs> Uh, one thing about all these actors is they're all really thrilled to just come back and revisit their roles or to play in the Robotech universe again. Uh, and not only just uh, their regular characters, but they also do a lot of uh, additional characters that were required for the game. This is actually from uh, the recording session, and that is uh, Steve Kramer there directing, and a bunch of people looking over your shoulder, including, I think that's me on the far left. <laughs> That's Tom Hiding, and in the far right, the one in the very back corner, the one pulling all the strings is uh, the president of this uh, cycle, Eric Peterson. There's Greg uh, doing what he does, what he does best. That's Barbara Goodson and Melanie McQueen. Oh. And uh, I guess uh, that caps it off for uh, Robotech Invasion. 